Hello folks, Jason Christian here of JC's Beats. Today's video is going to be one that I recently shared on my Facebook page. Um, it seemed to help a lot of people on there that are new beekeepers, so I wanted to bring it to YouTube and share it with all of my subscribers. So I hope it has the same effect for you and uh, gives you the extra knowledge you were wondering about robbing screens. Whether it's how to make them or how they work. So. Let's check out this video and uh, see what you think. This isn't my idea, but I wanted to share it. A friend of mine up in Wisconsin, Charlie, shared this idea within the last week or two. Um, he basically made some really simple robbing screens. Um, usually the robbing screens have wood around them, some framework, some structure to make them nice and stiff. But Charlie took some, uh, just some screen and some thumbtacks, bent the screen a couple different ways, and made his own robbing screen. So I kind of mimicked his idea here. I didn't have thumbtacks. I used a few finish nails on this uh, polyethylene nuke. On the wood nukes, I used staples. And basically how it works, robbing bees can smell the scent or the food that I gave the bees yesterday coming from the entrance hole there behind the screen. So of course they're attracted to where the smell is. But as you can see they cannot get through there. The only way to enter into the hive is down through here, through the top. The bees that are from this colony kind of a weak colony, I might point that out, um, have learned to come out, go up the face of the nuke, then fly away, and then when they return, they land above the screen and go down, leaving all the robbing confusion stuck out here on the screen. Works really, really well. I'm going to show you now one of my stronger nukes, a couple down from this one. That's 7.30 in the morning, folks, and they're already covered in bees. Here's another robbing screen I made and here's the one that's covered. So you can see it is definitely definitely slowing down the robbing. Um, yesterday I noticed a little bit of bone set pollen coming in. It's a white pollen and I would watch the bees from the colony go right down on the inside of the screen with no problems at all. Now if you watch how they're coming out and leaving, the bees that live here have already learned the routine. So it's pretty simple to make robbing screens. Basically you give an entrance away from the entrance hole for the bees that live there. you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Um, now I will verify that robbing screens do cause confusion. Um, the first two, three days, it can be hectic at the entrance because everybody's trying to figure out how to get in, how to get out. Um, one way that I've learned to verify whether they're working or not is, you know, the goldenrod's flowing right now. Um, you're starting to see this orange and yellow pollen come in from the aster and the goldenrod. Um, if you watch the bees returning with pollen, if they're running around on the screen trying to figure out how to get in, there's still confusion. If the ones with pollen are going up to the top and, and going right behind the screen with no problems at all, then you're good. They figured it out. And the reason that you use the bees with pollen is because robbing bees will not bring anything to give. They're only there to take. So these returning bees with pollen, they live there. So that's one way you can tell whether they figured out the robbing screen or they're still confused. So, I hope you liked the video. I hope it's helped you. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. That'll help boost it in the YouTube search ranks. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please take time to do so. I also want to mention that I linked Charlie's YouTube beekeeping channel down in the video description. Um, you can go check out his site. Um, like I say, he's in Wisconsin. So he's preparing for winter right now. Um, you know, we're still a few months behind Charlie here in Ohio, so I know Charlie's really ramping up the feeding right now. 
So thanks again, folks, for watching, and we'll see you next week.